What's up guys? Today I'm going to be talking about the assertion thoughts become things. Now I got this from Kai Green, a very popular bodybuilder which you, some of you guys might know. And he's always repeating the mantra, you know, thoughts become things, thoughts become things. And it really got me thinking about what's the validity of this? Is, is this accurate? Does is Do thoughts do become things all the time or is this uh, by different circumstances? And I thought back to my life of different times when I actually had a very clear image of something I wanted to do, a very clear idea. For example, one time was when I wasn't happy with my physical appearance. I actually used to be very skinny, so I'm gonna post a picture here. I decided to bulk up a bit, put a bit more muscle, you know? Because as a man, you kind of feel like your physical appearance is also part of your masculinity. And that was something that was very important to me at the time. So I actually bulked up, you know, I had a clear image, I worked hard, I did the necessary things, got the right information, and I actually reached my goal, physique. And also I was very happy about that. And that happened purely because I had the idea to begin with and I had a clear idea of what I wanted to do and I did the necessary steps. Another time was uh, back in the day, if some of you might not know this, I used to be uh, very aggressive kind of. Like, <laughs> like if someone says something negative to me, I would be the type of guy that would, you know, possibly punch the guy in the face or or maybe suplex them or DDT, you know? And this took a lot of time to overcome, but I managed to do this through meditation, which helped increase, you know, emotional stability and overall like awareness and consciousness, consciousness to the present moment. See, that's another uh, example because I had a problem, I identified it and I took the necessary steps to become the person I envisioned myself to be a calm, cool, collected type of guy, which is what happened, you know? And a third one is, um, what was it? Oh yeah, my psychological awareness. I wanted to know how the brain works, how we make decisions, how we, how willpower affects us, etc. And the path for this was reading a lot of psychology books, a lot of personal development books, and really getting down to nit and gritty type of details, the small nuances that most people overlook on how we work. And I managed to do that this year. This year I read something like 40 books so far, whereas last year I read like maybe five. And yeah, it's because I had the idea in my head and I followed it, a clear detailed idea. It's kind of like the movie uh, Fight Club, if you've seen it, where the main character, the protagonist, Tyler Durden is his projection of his ideal self. So he, he sees Tyler Durden doing everything he wish he could become. And that's the same way you have to approach it. You need to actually have an ideal version of yourself in the future and see yourself becoming that person. And the only way you can do that is by doing the necessary steps, of course. I mean, it seems simple, but a lot of people don't do it. A lot of people are always wondering, why they can't change and why they don't change is because they don't have a clear vision of what they want to become first that's the first step and this is very exciting for me because i see it kind of like a garden you know gardeners love gardening because they do the necessary work get the nutrition nutritions for the plants the manure the good soil they water it they get the right amount of sunlight on it and over time after some weeks or months, they see the fruit of their labor. They actually see something coming from their hard work, their, their creation, their garden. And this is the same thing with yourself, your mind and your body and your spirituality. You can picture yourself and have a roadmap, a blueprint. And over time, if you do the necessary steps, you can actually see the fruits of your labor. You can become what you want to become. And a lot of people don't see the potential in this. They don't see the great abundance there is in the world. They think they're stuck. They think that they are the person that they are and they're not able to change. But you have to understand us as humans, we're very malleable, which means we're able to be changed and formed and we can do whatever the hell we want. And we need to exercise our free will. Um, for example, if you want to be Mother Teresa, by all means, you'll be Mother Teresa. If you want to be Steve Jobs, you could be Steve Jobs. You could be any one of these greats if you want to be a jackass you want to be a hitler or some evil person that's the, that's all within the realms of possibility anything's possible you can choose it and as long as you follow through you can pave your own path now 
think of this I just plant a seed or thought in your mind you can do what you want with it you can take this seriously and stop paving your future today or you can disregard it and continue living the life you've been living but just know that it's all up to you the choice is yours hope you guys enjoy this video peace all right guys if you haven't already make sure you check out the new personal development global group on facebook link is in the description heaps of good shit for you this is pretty much the go-to place for all your personal development articles um free content for everybody and just the whole community that we're building up there's no spam here also you can check out the link to my website the realized man right at this website and you can suss that out if you have something to post make sure you check it out and come on Anyway, have fun guys. Peace.